sent on Twitter using a hashtag corny drive through. This question is from I Love Baby Girl Liv Morgan. I wanted to hear Jim's opinion on The Miz, or as it's spelled here, The Miss, playing in the celebrity softball game after the home run derby, despite being injured so he can't wrestle and being in a wheelchair on TV. Wait a minute, what? He played in a softball game after a home run derby? Did he Did he stop by on the way over to the quilting bee or the lemonade stand? What the fuck? I believe, and I don't watch, so I don't know for sure, but I believe Miz is right now doing something where he's in a wheelchair and he's injured on TV, but Major League Baseball every year around the All-Star game does a series of events, including the home run derby and the celebrity softball game. It was taped... I believe the day before the Home Run Derby, but it aired after it. But it was taped the day before. But he's supposed to be in a wheelchair on television and he's out there playing softball. That's exactly right, apparently. Well, but here's the problem. He didn't just do that on his own. It had to be approved through the office. So, yeah, I mean, it's not like I could think much less of The Miz, but in this case, I can't knock him because it, they obviously reached out to the office and booked that or it was approved by the office or he wouldn't have been al allowed to do it because he's a contract talent so they're stupid now if i was the promoter slash booker and he was my guy on my tv and he was supposed to be in a wheelchair and he went and played a softball game i would call him on the phone and say i'm glad you got well because you're never coming back you're fucking fired you're fucking done goodbye so long don't ever call me again lose my fucking number but that's just me because I'd have been in the wrestling business. Since everything they do is phony and they don't give a shit, they told a guy that was on their fucking roster on their television that's in a wheelchair and injured to go out and play softball. So what do you do? You can't cuss the guy because you, you can cuss the office, but it'd be nice to have a specific name. I'm sure nobody even went to Vince McMahon and said, hey, some fucking celebrity baseball game wants The Miz to play, but he's crippled in a wheelchair on our TV because then Vince would have said, well, get somebody else to do it then. But I, I, I'm just... They, they staff their office with people that have no wrestling background and, and act like they don't even watch the show, and then they do this shit because they think that it's all supposed to be a bunch of horse shit. So nobody even thinks twice about stuff like that. It's why I, they, the, the business side of the office had a lot of nice, polite, friendly people. When I was working there, the consternation I had with a lot of them was they had no idea of what was going on in the wrestling business, but now there's fucking hundreds more than there used to be. And they probably have even less idea and give even less of a shit. So but that's why those things happen. You know, WWE has always participated in, you know, celebrity golf outings and celebrity softball games. You think they ever sent Lawler or Sid to any of the celebrity softball games? <laughs> or is it just like any wrestler that's popular as opposed to a wrestler that would actually go there and kick ass? I, I, I wish they'd have sent fucking Lawler. I, I, you know, that would because King would love that. Right. Whereas Sid, that would have been too nice to him. But, you know, that's a, and then I hear, you know, now that I say that Miz could have mentioned, Hey, I can't be going out and playing softball cause I'm supposed to be crippled, but he probably wanted to, because he's a fucking reality TV fame whore or whatever, and probably wanted to be in the celebrity softball game. But I, all I can tell you is from personal experience, SummerSlam 93. They wanted me to go and be on Regis and Kathy Lee that morning for Yokozuna. He's in the main event with Luger. But 10 days previously, and I'd already told Bruce this, I said, I'm going to have a neck brace when I come into SummerSlam because we got our big show in Knoxville. Bob Armstrong's going to pile drive me. He's like, okay. So when they called me Regis and Kathy Lee, I said, well, you know I'm going to be wearing the neck brace. And they're like, uh, oh, okay, just go and talk. If I If I had not insisted on wearing the neck brace or I didn't even have to insist. They knew I was going to do it or not do the thing. So I didn't have to insist, but if I hadn't brought it up, they wouldn't have had me wearing the neck brace. Cause that wasn't their concern. Their concern was pushing SummerSlam. My concern was making Smoky Mountain wrestling, not fake bullshit. So I brought it up and they said, okay, do what you got to do. 
Miz could have said and talked him out of him being there, but said, hey, how stupid are we all going to look if I'm supposed to be injured and crippled on television, but I'm out here playing softball, get somebody else. But he's more about him and his fame and celebrity than actually taking any kind of care about the wrestling business. So he cussed both of them, the office and the frog face. 